According to an op-ed in the Washington Post today, the CIA shares intelligence with the Taliban, so we have an official intelligence-sharing relationship with the Taliban. The Darien Pass is the focus. The Darien Pass is where they're all going through. The Darien Pass is your choke point. Where is that? It's kind of like in Panama. If we don't have their biometrics in our system, how do we know where they're terrorists? We don't even know who they are. And remember, if they're coming as an Afghan on a fake Taliban passport, it, it doesn't have the biometrics we had anyway. What is Taliban's relationship with the U.S. now? Are we... According to an op-ed in the Washington Post today, the CIA shares intelligence with the Taliban, so we have an official intelligence-sharing relationship with the Taliban. I, I just, I just, I can't believe, it doesn't even seem real. Does it? I, I, I can barely take it every single day. <laughs> Especially with just how many Al-Qaeda members are currently in Afghanistan. The thing is, we know Benghazi was covered up that Al-Qaeda led the attack, right? People shouldn't have allowed it to happen. They did. Now, should we have learned our lesson? Like, we cannot let the U.S. government cover up Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan. I'm, I'm sorry. I feel like people are like, we've done this for 20 years. No. Like, we're going to say something. We're going to report it if you don't or if the press doesn't. Like, I do think people need to the step up now. That We have so many experts on Afghanistan. We have so many allies in Afghanistan. We can pull out all the information ourselves. If the government's not going to do the right thing, then everybody who has contacts in Afghanistan needs to be putting the information out. Where do you think, so they're, they're doing all this training and stuff in Afghanistan, Al-Qaeda and all these international terrorists. You think they're going to start coming up through our southern borders? Oh, they've already started. Do you know that for a fact? Yes. How do you know that? I know that because I was told several different times about group pockets of terrorists, so like six, eight. Um, there was one larger one, maybe 25 to 50, I think it was 50, um, that procured v um, passports from the Afghan government with the sole purpose of coming to our southern border. Um, one was ISIS, it was only a group of eight. The ISIS terrorists got the passports, they went to Iran. Their goal was Iran, Turkey, Turkey, Brazilian visa, and then come up through the Darien Pass. Um, the, I forget if it was 25 or 50, sorry. That was Haqqani Network. Their goal was, they get, obviously, the Haqqani Network, they were in the Ministry of Interior, so they all got the passports. Um, their goal was Turkey to Brazil. I mean, the, the key is Brazil. <laughs> um, and then Al-Qaeda has also sent um, attackers on the same routes. And Why is Brazil a key? Because it's easy to get a humanitarian Brazil visa, and then there's no real security to stop you from leaving. So then you just now go illegally up through the Darien Pass. Okay. The Darien Pass is the focus. The Darien Pass is where they're all going through. The Darien Pass is your choke point. Where is that? It's kind of like in Panama. Okay. And um, it's super dangerous. Like if. 10 Afghans go in, maybe six come out. <laughs> really? Why is that? Um, there is murders, rapes, robberies, animal attacks. Like, I seriously know someone who told me that the Afghan died by, like, a, a large wild cat, you know, like a cougar or whatever is the local one there. Um, so, yeah, diseases... Um, even if they get through and then get picked up by the Panamanians, there, there's a lot of torture and abuse. So what, hold on, what is, why is it so dangerous there? This is a section of Panama? I think because so many criminals maybe are going through it. It's just, a, it's just extreme poverty. I think it's just like, it's the jungle, <laughs> right? It's like kind of a real wild, wild west. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's, so that's where everybody's targeting to travel through. So it's not exactly Brazil. Brazil's just the easiest part to get through this pipeline up. Gotcha. Yeah. It's it's the easiest country to infiltrate. Brazil is, the, yes. For the beginning of their journey. Mm -hmm. How many terrorists, do you know how approximately how many terrorists we've caught trying to 
across the southern border? I wouldn't imagine it's very many. It seems like the southern border is pretty wide open. I don't know, because like last year, I thought there was like 20 in a month or something. I feel like maybe in this year it was like 100 or so. I don't know the exact number. I know we're missing a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, these are only who we've caught and, I mean... And who we have biometrics for, mm -hmm. right? Because... If we don't have their biometrics in our system, how do we know where they're terrorists? We don't even know who they are. And remember, if they're coming as an Afghan on a fake Taliban passport, it, it doesn't have the biometrics we had anyway. It doesn't have the name we have watch listed. It doesn't even probably have the ethnicity. If you're Pakistani and you went and got a passport from the Taliban, you're now, they think, assume you're an Afghan. That's a good point. Have, they, have we interrogated anybody that they have caught? crossing the border? I mean, I'm assuming I just don't have access to that, but they are in detention facilities, if that's what you're asking. Are you aware of any of the motivations? I, I, I just have not order? seen any de debriefings, and luckily I have not known a terrorist that's come over, thank heavens. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.